Hello everyone, this video is going to be about doing a factory reset on an Acer Aspire. The model number that we have is a 5735. Uh, so what is a factory reset? Well in the old days you used to get a CD with your computer and that CD allowed you to reinstall it from fresh so that it was a brand new virgin copy. Nowadays you don't get the CD but that same copy of Windows is actually stored on a secret partition, a secret, a secret section of the hard disk on your computer. You just have to know how to get into it. Now, uh, on every laptop that has these partitions, you normally have to do a key sequence uh, to get into it when you first switch on the computer. In this particular model, the sequence is Alt F10. That's the A, L, T key and the F10. And what we're going to be doing is switching on the system, holding down the Alt, and then we're just going to be tapping every second the F10 key and we're hoping to just boot up into a, uh, a special copy of Windows. Now before you do this process uh, do make sure that you've got your power adapter plugged in because it's going to take a few minutes uh, probably about uh, half an hour to 40 minutes in total and you don't want to do the procedure on the battery secondly if you try these keys and you're not going to and you don't get to the screen that I get to this could either be because the partition that's hidden is been removed or deleted by a previous installation that's been done onto the machine so you've lost it or it could just be that the sequence of keys is different so all you have to do is google for factory reset and um, your model number and with that it, you might find uh, somebody has written what key sequence you need to press to boot up into the recovery mode okay um, one final thing if you don't have a recovery partition and uh, you are still wanting to install Windows you're okay because uh, underneath your machine would be a serial number for your copy of Windows and the idea is that you get a backup of Windows um, and you uh, make sure that you match up your label down there will say it's a Windows Vista uh, or Windows 7 or XP whatever the model whatever sorry the operating system is you need to install exactly the same copy and then you will be able to use a number that's underneath your laptop on that label to activate your copy of Windows as a genuine copy uh, however, when you do do it that way, you will find that you've got no drivers. You're going to have to have another laptop or another PC where you're going to hunt down uh, and go to Asus website. You're going to search for your particular model number, your particular uh, sys operating system and download the drivers for the webcam, for the graphics card, for the sound and all the other little components. Uh, so that they are uh, installed properly. So we're going to start the procedure. We're going to switch the system on and I can hear it whirling up. We're going to do the Alt and we're going to do the F10 and we're just going to tap that as it's showing that screen and we're hoping to see a long, there you go, that long bar is the load bar for a Windows Vista installation process. The only difference is it's going to present us a menu to um, restore the system back to uh, factory default. Now this procedure erases everything. Should you need some information or you need to keep something, you need to boot up in the copy of Windows. In this particular case, the copy on this Windows doesn't work at all. So, but you need to boot up with uh, the copy of Windows that you that you have and copy your My Documents folder and anything else of value to an external disk of some kind. Uh, and then once you've made that backup, you can then go ahead knowing that you've got your data. You will lose all your software that you've installed in time. You will lose your uh, any applications that you might have bought for a printer or an extra camera or something like that. So. We're now going to be presented with a question about whether we want to restore the machine from a backup that we've made, which we haven't, so that's not for us. We haven't made any backups. Or, here it is, restore. Okay, I accidentally clicked on the first line there, but the first line was restore a system to factory reset without a backup. It's now warning me um, that it's going to remove and erase everything and to keep the power uh, cord plugged in for the procedure. 
we're going to click on next and we agree that this is what it is this is the hard drive this is the only hard drive I've got inside the laptop so I'm happy that it's going to do it there and uh, I agree that it's going to erase all the information so there you go it's now wiping everything and it's going to be doing a progress of about uh, eight to ten minutes uh, which will initially copy uh, windows then it's going to go into another screen that configures windows you don't do anything you just sit back and watch it sort of progress for another 20 minutes uh, half an hour later from now uh, system will reset and you will be in a position to um, boot up into windows and introduce yourself to the system and create the account and set the passwords like you normally do so that's it the procedure has started I'm not really going to bore you with the next half an hour of uh, watching this go by uh, so I've given you my tips for the keyboard sequence alt F10 the idea behind the partition recovering your system and hopefully um, you should be able to do this procedure as well so good luck with your restore um, questions in the video are welcome um, I'm not your Google so please do go online and just search for the keyboard sequence for your laptop so if you've got a Dell, it might be a different key. If you've got yourself a HP, it's going to be a different sequence. Here, I've got an opportunity to show you a NASA Aspire uh, being reset back to factory defaults. Thank you very much for your time. A like on the video is welcome and any comments too. Bye-bye.